Okay, so I thought I would do one of my first videos. Um, I've had a few videos, but not really a vlog, and I thought I would start one. Um, and just kind of reach out to people. Generally, people don't people don't reach out to anyone, and that's something we all crave. I mean, look how many how many of us have YouTube, how many of us have Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and the candy store of you know social networking. But yet we don't really know each other. I mean, how many of us have a regular barista that we go to every morning and get our coffee? Do you know their name? What they're like? What what do they like? Are they in college? Do they have a family? We don't really take time to, to get to know people. We don't even get time, take time, to get to know people who are in our lives. People that we see every day. People that are in our family, people that are in classrooms with us, our so-called friends, we don't know them. I am part of a community that is getting to know people on a different level. And I have to admit that the people in this class have changed my life profoundly. Um, this class has changed my life profoundly. And I have to thank my mentor for that. Um, so I'm putting out a challenge to people that we've been given. The next time you approach someone, um, ask them how they're doing. And if they have like a name tag, if they're if they're working, use their name and be like, you know, hi Jonathan, how are you? Like how is your day? Because usually they're the first to greet you. Kind of take them off guard, or you know, someone in line, like, just really reach out to people. And if there's something that you want to tell someone, this is something that we started lately, is I have a truth. So if I had a, tr I'll, I'll give an example. Um, one of the people in my class came up to me and she said, I have a truth for you. And I said, okay, I'm listening. And she replied by saying that she's sometimes intimidated by me. And I I honestly didn't know how to take it at first. I was like, wow, you know, what did I do to intimidate this person? Because I'm tiny. I'm 5'2 and 115 pounds. I'm tiny. What could I do to intimidate this woman who, in my eyes, is intimidating to me and is profoundly intelligent, profoundly, like, this beautiful soul that I see on a weekly basis and I I still have yet to fathom what she was intimidated by but I let her know that you know I'm intimidated by her sometimes and you know I I want to become friends with her more and talk with her more and we have we've had those moments and I kind of enjoy it and it kind of becomes addicting I'm gonna warn you to reach out to people and get to know each other because they're gonna to wanna to know you too. Something a little scary. Try to take down your walls this week. We're in finals this week and we're really stressed and we're not sleeping. We can be a little cranky and mean to people and really take time to reach out to people over the holiday. And don't be reaching out to people with some expensive gift or, you know, something like that. Reach out to them and say, I care. How can I help you today? How can I be there for you? And be an ear. Be a word of encouragement. Um, something to share with you is on the 22nd, I will be officially three years sober of cutting. I cut my wrist for nearly 10 years and I don't regret it. Sorry. I don't regret it at all. Um, it is part of my life. And it is something that really made me who I am today. And for those of you who are, are out there and they are self-injuring, there's so much more that is out there. And there's so many reasons not to cut that the number one reason should be you. At times it's not always. I know mine wasn't. My first time was not for me. My first, my first reason not to cut was not me. It was another person. 
and I'm thankful because I'm alive today, I'm healthy, and I'm not, I'm not, I don't even know what to use, I don't know what word, because it wasn't mutilating my body, it was trying to figure out and express what I was feeling, so I hope you all have a great day, um, if you have any questions, you can ask me. I'm a pretty open person. Um, just ask them on the comments below. And if you have a nasty or ugly comment about me, go for it. That's your feelings, and you can own up to those. And I can't say anything to disagree with those. Because that's how you feel about me. That's not how I feel about me. So you have a wonderful evening, everybody, and I will make another video in a few days. Bye.